Hello guys, my name is JP Dan. Oh boy, I'm so tired and if there is any grammatical error or in this case error in my English when I'm speaking, that is because either I am so tired or I'm just clunky at speaking in English. See, I used to be good at English but now I'm just bad at it. Forgive me for that. But anyways, here I'm going to show you how to create how to create a Windows terminal script that can delete every single file and folder by terminal terminal I mean bash file so yeah bash file itself is a scripting language it's not even a real programming language at all more like a pseudo program programming language <laughs> so yeah here we have our demo folder right here two folder containing the same file but with different names now you might be wondering hey how the hell do I do that that sounds complicated right well it is but it's only complicated when you start to deal with the deal with deleting multiple folders part when deleting every types of file with batch file it's relatively easy now basically create a bash file now how to show the file name extension well just search it on google see Windows 7 Windows 8 Windows 10 just look it up on Google I don't want to teach you all of that it's no science it's no wiz it's no wizard now to run and see the result of your batch file accurately you need to use the CMD command prompt I'm, I already installed Windows terminal on this so just right click and run windows terminal but if you are going to be in, to use cmd and not bar borrowing yourself installing any windows store app yeah this is a windows store application and then search cmd command prompt copy paste the directory now depends on where you actually put your folder if you put on the different directory for example c right like this then you need to use cd and with a switcher d in this case just type cd cd stands for change directory with a switch even if you are on the same drive just to be sure now here we're going to switch on our much more lightweight and modern terminal now create a batch file like here echo dot okay echo dot greater designs don't forget quotation if you are going to add space to your batch file name then add quotation if not then leave it as it is don't you don't need quotation anyways if you don't have a a blank character on your batch file name don't forget to add a batch file extension dot bat and there we go if you minimize then you will see there is a batch file right here edit now start typing okay this is just a message part it's not really important the only important part that this message part contributes is telling the user that hey this terminal script is actually deleting your files so yeah if you have tons of files and tons of order then this message is can become in handy then 
since we are going to delete every single contents in this file put the CD change directory thingy delete and since both of the test file I mean test folder and the file is on the same directory then you don't need to add like a drive letter into it you just need to type the name and yeah that's how flexible it is if you really need to extend then type cd dot dot that way you can extend to the parent directory of this directory that is the demo folder but you but we don't need that oops i just accidentally closed now for the file part it's re relatively simple if we go ahead and see the del command right here you can see here this is the list of full command right here the s part right here means specified files from all subdirectories so if you are going to delete every single file from subdirectories then you are going to use s the quiet mode itself well every time you want to delete something via the batch file or in this case cmd it go it always asks you where whether or not you are going to delete or not here the q switch get rid gets rid of that again if you are going to only the s part itself is useful only if you want to delete files from a sub directories here we are going to copy the folder right here we are going to back it up and we need to delete two I made a typo right here now we're going to demonstrate delete from all subdirectory again this is what we need if we are going to delete from all subdirectory and we are going to leave the folder alone this asterisk dot asterisk part itself is there and we're this command itself is useful to tell the bash file that oh i'm going to delete any types of file any file type that is available so yeah cls done done Take right here. There we go. Now, as you can see here, after you're done, you are just safe. And there we go. As you can see here, just one. We are going to use our terminal, terminal right here. Since we are going to see the result, delete. This is the file name. Let's inspect once more for any error. Correct directory. And now, here, here is a side by side view. And delete. Oh my god. I seriously don't know what the hell is wrong with my PC right now sorry for the inconvenience as you can see here once we take a look at delete one it is completely empty a barren wasteland like I said before it will leave these two folders alone it never touches these two folders 
but if you are going to delete the folder 2 then we are going to use the second method now as you can see here since we are going to delete the folder 2 we are just remove this switch right here because you don't need to tell the bash file that we are that the bash file need to delete the bat every single file from that subfolder since that subfolder itself is going to be deleted anyways paste this code right here I will provide the code in the description below basically paste this code right here again the code is in the description below save and now since our main delete folder is literally unusable because it's empty I'm not going to recover it again I just get rid of rid of that entirely and let's use this main folder I don't know what the hell is going on anyways uh, let's just launch the batch file oh yeah now as you can see here it's delete it deletes like magic now the reason why i tell you to not use the s switch when it comes to deleting both folder and files is because we want to avoid the bash file conflicting with itself as much as possible conflict code conflict command conflict on your program or in this case a script on your script file is by far the most worst possible offender ever like you seriously do not want a conflict in your script file that's just that crap itself is just nasty but anyways this is how you truly delete every single folder files even files in the subdirectories if you like this video please subscribe like and comment thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video goodbye